Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to rewrite y equals ab raised to the power x minus h plus k to the form y equals ab raised to the power x plus k. Now notice the difference between these two general form. The first one has an h, while the other one has no h on it. Now let's take this first example right here. Write the equation y equals 5, parenthesis 2 raised to the power 4x plus 3 plus 1 to the form y equals ab to the power x plus k. Before we jump into this example right here, we remember this property of exponent. When the two bases are the same with exponents, so we can go ahead and write the common base, which is the b, and then we just have to add the exponent. So in this case right here, we can use this property of exponent on this part of the equation. So we have this part right here. So looking at this, we can go ahead and say that our b here is 2, and then the x was 4x, and then the y was 3. So then we can go ahead and rewrite this expression into this form. So we're going to write b twice. So I'm, that means I'm going to write 2 twice. So I'm going to write 2 and then parentheses. So I'm going to write 2 twice, and then 2 right here. Now, this one will be raised to the power xy. So again, our xy was, this represents the whole x, so 4x. So I'm going to write that up here, 4x. And then the 3 is going to go here, so that is 3 right there. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is to add all the rest of the parts. So I'm just going to go ahead and add 1 here, and then that multiplied by 5 and that is equal to y. So then I can go ahead and simplify this some more. So then I can go ahead and write 5 and then 2 to the power 4x, and then 2 to the third power means 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8, and then plus 1. So then these two can be combined together. 5 times 8 is 40. So I can go ahead and write 40, and then that is 2 raised to the power 4x. Now others are going to say, why did you write the 4x outside? It doesn't really matter because that's only one term. And then that is plus 1. And this is equal to y. So these two equations that we have here are equivalent equations, meaning they are just the same equation. They just come in different form. So this equation, the one that I underlined and the one that I boxed are actually equivalent equation. On the side, you will see the graph between these two um, equations. You can see that both the red equation and the blue equation are actually a match. That means they are sitting on top of each other, which means that they are equivalent equations. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. Again, we are going to use the property of exponent in order that we can change this to the form y equals ab raised to the power x plus k. Now, we will look at first the one with exponent. So I'm going to cover the rest of the parts first so we can better understand it. So let's simplify this. So our b or our base here is 3. And then we have um, 5x that represents the x, and then the minus 4 represents the y. So I can go ahead and break this down into this form. So um, my b was 3, so I'm going to write 3 here. And then the other one is also 3. And then what I would do next is the, expo the two exponents will be distributed to each one of them. So the 5x is going to go to the first one and then the negative 4 is going to go to the other one, and so I am going to add the rest of the parts. So that would be a plus 6, and then that's, there's a 2 in front, and that is equal to y. So then from here, I am going to simplify this um, expression. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to re I, can, I, will, I will have to rewrite this since this is raised to the power negative 4. So I can rewrite this as y is equal to 2 parentheses 3 to the power 5x. And that is this one can be rewritten as 1 over 3 raised to the power positive 4. And this is based on this um, 
idea right here that if we have a fraction again remember there is an invisible denominator of 3 here which is 1 so if we have a over b to the negative m we can actually rewrite it to have a positive exponent m by flipping the fraction so that becomes b over a to the power m so in this case right here 3 over 1 to the negative 4 if I flip it around that's 1 over 3 I flip the fraction again that's invisible right there I can raise this to the power of positive 4 since I flipped it and so I can go ahead and still add the um, 6 so then we can go ahead and simplify this this would come out y is equal to 2 3 to the 5x and then this is 1 to the 4th power is 1. 3 to the 4th power means 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 is 27 times 3 is 81. So that is 81 plus 6. So we can combine these two together. So 1 times 2 or 2 times 1 is 2. And then that is over 81. Parentheses. 3 to the power 5x plus 6 is the equivalent equation for this um, equation right here. So these two equations that we have are actually equivalent to each other. So the one that I underlined and the one that I put inside the box are actually equivalent to each other. On the side, you will see the graph of these two equations. You will see that both the blue graph and the red graph are actually on top of each other. That means they are actually equivalent equations. That's it. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.